Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to upgrade the software on a Sonom XP7 from Android 4.4.4 to the latest version which is Android 5.1.1. Now, if you're on the TELUS network, this release was available as of this morning, which is August the 29th, uh, 2016. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at what the current software version is. So we push the options button and then we're going to scroll through to settings. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom to about. And here we're going to see that this particular one is running Android 4.4.4. Now if you have one of the original ones and you're running Android 4.4.2, this particular method of upgrading the software will not work. You have to go to the other video that I shot in this series uh, a few months ago and uh, it's a different process for that. But because this one's already updated to 4.4.4 it's a fairly straightforward process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the icon page, scroll across until we see this one in the top left hand corner which is called mobile care and we're going to touch that and this is uh, the mobile update thing and it will automatically launch and tell you if you have an upgrade available. In this case we do, so we're going to choose download and install and OK. Now it's important to realize that you can only do these upgrades when you're on Wi-Fi. So if you're not on Wi-Fi now, it's going to kick you out and you're going to have to go back and uh, launch the, uh, the app again. So we're going to put this on pause for just a sec because it takes a few minutes to do this part and I'll be right back. Now if you've done this part properly, you're going to notice up in the top left hand corner here we have the little moving arrow that's moving in a downward direction and this indicates that the download is in progress. So like I say, again, this is going to take about five minutes or so. Um, you'll see the top bar here. Uh, right now it shows that we're at 7% uh, and because of the time this takes, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when this is completed. Stand by. Okay, once the upgrade has finished uh, processing, you're going to get to this screen and it's going to ask if you want to proceed with installing it. So you're going to check the box and you're going to hit agree and it's going to reboot and it'll start upgrading. This again takes about five minutes so once again we're going to pause the video and then we'll come back. And just for the record this is the screen that you're going to see while it's installing the upgrades. Once the phone is finished installing all the updates, uh, which again like, like I say it takes five to ten minutes depending on uh, your Wi-Fi speeds, the yeah, phone will reboot and you'll get this screen. If it seems to you like the phone is frozen up or stuck on this screen, it isn't. Just be patient. Uh, it takes a, about a minute or so before it moves off this screen, but it will do so automatically. This is the next step where it's optimizing the apps. And this phone has 134 apps like we've spoken of before. So this takes uh, about two minutes. So we're going to pause the video again and we'll be right back. Once the upgrades have finished, it'll go back to the uh, black screen and we just swipe to unlock. It'll give you the welcome screen and it'll give you a few things that you have to go through to customize, but basically you can just say got it. Now what I want to do is I want to show you if I can get both of these. This is just to show you the difference between the two. Uh, it's going to show you on this screen that you've achieved success with the update, so you just click OK. Now the one thing that you'll notice when you go to the uh, apps page is there's a little bit different view of the apps. In the old one you swipe left to get to page two and in this one you swipe up and down. And that's basically all there is to uh, upgrading the software to 5.1.1. Um, there are more updates coming in the future uh, and we will post videos of those as they are prepared. But that's it for now. If you have any questions please feel free to uh, contact me in the comments section and that's it for now. Thanks, and thanks for watching.